Hi guys, yes, I'm back with this exciting new project. Uh, it's a smaller project than the other ones, but as I promised you, I always want to give you a step-by-step -step of how we do construct these structures because you might be there seated having a dream of poetry and you don't know how to go about it. I'm here to always give you and guide you on each and everything, what you can do to fulfill your dream. Once again, you're at Moko Poetry Farm and this is Dennis. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to us, I kindly request to hit that subscription button. That way you won't miss anything from Moko Poetry Farm. Remember, we shall be giving you everything, the variety in poetry. We shall be giving you the structures. We shall be giving you all the ideas you need to know, you need to equip with before you start our poetry. And still, even if you're already in poetry, still you have to know some new stuff. You know, the system is always changing. So you need to change with the system. You might have reared some chicken back then. Now the system has changed. A lot has changed in the system. So you always need to know these things. Anyway, back to the project. This is a small project. It's uh, 700 braider buds. You know, we differentiate braiders and layers. Brayers have their specific structure and layers have their specific structure because they all acquire different measurements. Like uh, what a layer chicken, the space needed by a layer chicken isn't the same needed like for a brailer. So when we are gonna construct your structure, we always ask what kind of braid you're gonna keep so that we give you the exact measurement for your structure. Otherwise, this is a small place of land. Uh, our client had just built a house and uh, she wanted to start her small project. So we had to utilize the small portion of land that had remained there. Just that way you can see our project had already taken shape. We use this kind of timber because they are always strong. They are strong. These are eucalyptus trees and they are strong and durable. And as I told you, all our land, almost all our land in Africa, it has termites within. So we have to care about the termites. We have to always mm, smear the wood with our old oil from the vehicles. And we put the plastic back to make sure that there is no termite that penetrate to our timber. Just the way you can see our structure we make sure that we construct a very strong structure. Actually, we also give you a guarantee that in such and such a period of time, this structure must still be there. We want to build for generations. We want you to rear your chicken and your kids as well. So, just that way you can see. Many people have been asking me, what's the cost of this structure? My dear, that's, the cost always are different depending on the place you are in. Uh, these materials are different because remember we buy these timbers and the iron sheets from the area of your site. So we have to first come, we supervise your site and we know exactly what's the cost there. That way we can make for you a quotation of the materials you're going to use. And still some of our farmers do have their old materials in their place. So we use some of those things. That's why on this structure you'll see some material is all like uh, you see the old iron sheets because she had some old iron sheets so we had to use those ones together with the new ones and some timbers this house the main house was still new so she had some old timbers which you had to add on our new ones and we make sure that we meet the cost you know we don't want to and uh, we don't want our farmer to lose all the money just in the process of construction because you still have a long way to go you get you have to buy the chicks you have to buy the feeders drinkers and so on so we make sure that we minimize the costs as much as we can so that by the time you start your project you still have something in the pocket so we make sure that we meet everything we use what is a variable you get it so 
this is the process and the way you see it we managed to squeeze it in that small place this is the new one sheets we bought and that one is the old one i hope you understand what i'm what i'm talking about and if you can see the place the whole place is was covered we didn't leave any portion there because you had to utilize the land like this is an urban setting this lady is in the village he's in an urban setting and he wanted she wanted to put her staffs there as well so just that way you see our project had already taken shape it's not too long many people have been asking uh, what is the height what should be the height of the structure we based on a lot of things like where you've constructed your structure from if your environment like the, your neighborhood is all developed it means you need to raise your structure a bit higher so that it gets enough air and if your structure is in an open place you won't make it so high it means you always suffer with the winds the storms and so on so we cannot give you a specific uh, height not until we reach your site just that we can see now we also man make sure that we level your land we don't want any slope in your structure reason being whenever you leave a slope in the structure remember in this chicken this is a depleter system so we put there wood shavings or coffee husks and uh, rice, rice husks and a lot of things we use for bedding when our chicken are inside. So when there is a slope, it means these shavings will keep on roaring downwards. So some part will be left empty. So we don't want that. That's why we make sure that we clear all the slope and uh, our ground should always be on the same level. That's that just what you can see here. We take this one as a main issue during our construction just that way you can see the thing is already giving shape it's already looking nicer like if at all you're the owner of the project here you can already see that wow my project is taking shape then about these sheets you see here these sheets are different from the sheets we've been using uh, like i told you our client is our boss like if our client comes and uh, she gives us a suggestion that i want you to use this and this and if we look well it has no any effect with the structure we put it so for her she wanted these sheets because they looked so nice and uh, she had seen them being used somewhere and uh, we could get them on the market so we used them and Alhamdulillah it worked very well and if the way you can see we've already managed managed to level our ground so there we have to compact it the types of compacting are different depending on the type of the soil here it was somehow dry the soil wasn't so soft so there wasn't no need to bring this machinery to compact no here we could use our local compacting system <laughs> just the way you can see it so it could work very well before we compact there are some things we do to make sure that our soil is strong enough which we couldn't show in the video but trust us our grounds are always our structures are always strong enough so from there as i told you not all our structures we put concrete no it depends like when you're in the swamp there we are forced to put some concrete but here no need to put to use the concrete we just mix our sand we use the le uh, sand lake i don't know how they call it i think it's lake sand hmm. so we use the lake sand that one with with uh, some bigger particles so we mix it with uh, with a cement and that's it then after mixing it very well we have to make sure that we put it evenly in the structure we don't want any bends however much this is a chicken structure but we have to make sure that it's neat enough so just that way you can see it we also make sure that this very sand we compact it we don't want to leave any bend we have to make sure that we give you a job which is as neat as possible so that is it just that way you can see our job is always almost finished we are in our last stages so we always do these videos uh, like to motivate your people you don't have to be with too much money to start up a poultry project 
just use the little money you have and use it accordingly you don't want to go you don't have to go in big structures you spend all your money in the big structures use, using expensive materials and you end up having nothing in your pocket to start up the project so it's always better to start up with something small then with time you will upgrade so just that way you can see it now our structure is done and here we are ready to handle it to our client so in case you need any questions you need to tell us to, uh, to advise us in anything or you need any inquiries or you need to help you in anything just check in our bio there you'll find the email address the phone number and you can as well inbox us we shall always keep in touch we are here to move with you from day one until the last day may god bless you